Welcome to a tour of the Redesign Pads install program. I'm going to take you through a custom install and I've divided these into two different parts. This is part one and we'll go through customizing the licensing during the initial stages of the install. And if you haven't already watched the typical install movie, I recommend you go and watch that and then come back and watch this one. So first off we start out just like we did with the typical install with the download on the desktop. So we're going to go ahead and double click on pads 9.3 underscore MIB.exe and here we arrive at the hardware key dialog and at this point you should plug in your hardware key if you have one and if you get any Windows dialogs telling you new hardware is being detected or something similar go ahead and cancel out of that and then go ahead and click next and here the those initial checks that just took place were unsuccessful because it says no current license detected so this could be a brand new installation where there is no licensing on the machine so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and configure the licensing and then in part two of these movies I will take you through customizing the products target location pads projects and so let's go ahead and click next and you'll notice it takes us into the choose licensing configuration again that's because the licensing was not detected and so here we have two choices we have mobile compute or node lock licensing and we have network or floating licensing so in my case I'm gonna start with node lock licensing and I click next and here we have a dialogue asking for the license file path so if you know where your license file is you'll go ahead and click browse but if you're not sure there's now a link down here called download license file so if you have your support net login configured or set up then this will take you directly to where you can download the license file for your site now this link won't actually take the location and fill it in here it's a two-step process you need to download the license file you rem remember where the location is and then you can browse to it so I've already downloaded my license file so I'm gonna go ahead and click browse and I know I've got it on my desktop there it is site 2811 select that and click open and it will fill in the location into the field there and when I'm ready I go ahead and click next to continue now here we have a hardware key driver installation dialog and it's asking me which hardware key driver I should install now in my case I have a parallel port key and I don't have drivers installed it's the first time I've loaded licensing or any mentor product on on this machine so when I click OK it's going to install by default the Sentinel or parallel port hardware key now the reason it's checked is because it detects that that's the type of license that I have which is the license file I just um, gave it now in more cases you're probably going to see the Aladdin USB key box checked and I should mention when you do install the Aladdin or USB key driver it actually looks like it's loading two drivers but in fact what it does is it does an uninstall just in case there's an older or incompatible driver already on the system and then it loads the new one whereas with the Sentinel which I'm about to install it just does uh, the install because we don't have the same compatibility issues with the Sentinel driver. I can click skip if I know or I don't need the driver for some reason but I would recommend if you get this dialog that you go ahead and accept the default and click OK. So there it just started installing the hardware key driver it'll just take a, a few seconds and in the case of the Aladdin it may take a minute or two. 
and then shortly it'll take us to the next dialog saying that the license file has been installed and the location. So here we have the location where the license file was installed to. Now you'll notice it's not the same location that we started with. This is the new default license file location. And if you've used the Mentor license utility before to install a license file, this is the same location. This is one that hopefully you'll be able to find quite easily by browsing around in your Mentor Graphics directory. Now at this point we can either click Next to continue with the installation or we can click Licensing if we want to go ahead and add an additional licensing configuration. This is something new to this version of the installation. In the past you could only set up one configuration during the install and you'd have to come back after the install and run the install license file shortcut in order to add additional configurations. So I'm going to go ahead and click licensing because I also have a license server that I would like to point to. So go ahead and click licensing and network floating licensing and next and here it's asking me for the port number and the host name of my server. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the server name and when I'm done go ahead and click next in just a moment it will show me that the new value 1717 at org-ordova-w7 has been appended to my license file variable. So now we'll see we have both. And so now we're ready to go ahead and click Next to continue with the install now that we have our licensing all configured. And here we are at the license agreement. At this point I'm going to stop part one of this movie and you want to go ahead and continue and bring up part two of the custom install movie. Thank you.